Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren the 11 and today I'm going to be showing you, you guys requested it. Well, actually I asked it on my YouTube community, but yes, you said you wanted to see it. So I'm giving it to you today. And that is my hair grease twister. All you need is water and hair grease. Well, I've put a leave in and I'll show you in a second, but you can just do this solely with water and hair grease. The reason I put a leave in guys is because I washed and deep conditioned my hair last night and I couldn't just leave my hair dry. I didn't want to apply the hair grease in my hair off camera because I want to show you that on camera obviously. So I needed to put something in my hair and what I used in my hair was the African Pride Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Baobab Oil Hydrate and Strengthen Leave-In Cream. So that's what I've got in my hair at the moment. And guys, for any of you that are wondering, I've had a few questions on my roots and my sister's roots, by the way. Are our roots chemically treated? No, our hair is not chemically treated. Her hair's dyed, but mine's not chemically treated. But I just wanted to show you guys, just water and the leave-in conditioner, these are the results I get. This is from sleeping on my satin pillowcase. So yes, my hair looks like it's been straightened or blow dried or whatever you want to call it. This is just how my hair lays at my roots. Okay, so all I've got water and leave-in and these are the results of my hair. But today we are not talking about that. We're talking about the hair grease twist out, aren't we? So I'm going to take my hair out. I just had it in four plaits. My hair's still slightly damp. I'm going to need my hair to be a bit more damp. So what I'm going to use is my As I Am castor oil and water spray. The usual, you know, my regular feature in my videos. And then I'm going to use Dax Pomade i.e. hair grease with bergamot olive oil and castor oil okay so that's what i'm going to use so i'm just going to go ahead and take these plaits out so as i said my hair is still slightly damp yeah so as i said it's fairly damp but i need to have moisture on my hair so my hair is detangled i may have to just slightly detangle it again so first of all i'm going to take my hair grease as you can see it's a regular in our family household and i'm not going to overdo it guys because you don't want your hair to be limp you want it to be shiny you want it to be sealed moisturized and defined but you don't want limp hair guys so i think what i've just put in will be enough for that section and applying the hair grease also helps with the takedown because you don't have to add any extra oils so once your hair's dried, it should just be dried, defined, not greasy. If it's too greasy, guys, or if it's greasy at all, you've used too much hair grease. I'm not gonna apply any more to the ends at the moment. When I twist right down to the ends, that's when I'll apply some more just to get my curls curled at the end, okay? Okay, so now my hair's dampened. I was gonna do a flat twist, but the reason why I'm not gonna do a flat twist is because my hair still tends to get it's more springy at the roots so it tends to get more tighter at the roots and more loose down here so to uniform the texture i'm actually going to do a three strand twist out you want to make your hair as smooth as possible i'm going to add a little bit more hair grease and that should be enough so to start with my three strand twist out i'm going to do an outside plait i find that doing outside plaits just help to uh, pull the root a bit more taut a twist if you are not familiar how to do a three strand twist out there are tutorials if you want me to do one i can do one i have done one a while ago but if you want an updated one that is fine so i'm not doing this slow guys this, this is not a tutorial on how to do three strand twists so now my ends are going to match with my roots because my roots are a lot tighter than my ends I am going to leave it until I feel my hair is completely dry and the way you know your hair is completely dry is because your hair feels springy and bouncy and has shrinkage. Okay so it looks like I'm plaiting but I'm not, I'm literally just twisting the hair around one another and I find that I just got a more, more cleaner curls, more uniform curls when I do free strand twist, free strand twist out I should say. So now I'm going to seal the end with hair grease. So if this was two strand twist, it would come out very, um, it would come out very stringy. Yep, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this top section the same way. And basically guys, I'm gonna do this all throughout my head. So I'm just gonna show you this section and then I'll come back to you once I am fully twisted up. Your hair does need to be damp guys. So if your hair's starting to dry up, you need to re-moisten your hair because this is maybe a style that you're wearing for maybe two to three days, four days if, if you, prefer to stretch it so you need all the moisture you can get and you need that moisture sealed in so I'm gonna add a little bit more hair grease
Okay, so when I come to the end, I just twist my hair, twist my curls in the way it naturally wants to go. And seal that with hair grease. And as I said, because of the oils in the hair grease, when I'm take, doing the takedown, it makes it a lot easier to take out. So last one I'm showing you on camera, guys. Obviously, if you do want to see what I'm doing, you can rewind as much as you like and rewatch. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. So as I said, I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I will come back to you when they are fully done. I've now finished twisting my hair. This is the complete look so far. My hair is quite damp and it's still shrinking up. This side's more elongated because I finished this side last, but it's shrinking up and I'm gonna leave it to shrink up a bit more just so I know that it's fully dried. That's just the best way to know guys once it's shrunken up. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly show you the back. Okay, so I didn't do a twist here. I didn't do a twist in the middle only because with the three strand twist I feel that you get more volume so I'm going to just fan it out in the end you, you'll see you'll see the final results anyway guys so that is it for now I'm going to leave my hair to dry and I will be back I reckon this will be a couple of days all right guys so I will see you soon okay guys so I'm back this is the next day um I wouldn't even say it's been a whole 24 hours it's not been 24 hours that it's taken to dry let me just take these out you know sometimes when your hair feels cold and you're not sure if it's actually damp that's how my hair's feeling at the moment but i know it's not damp because my roots are always the last to dry so if my roots are dry the rest of my hair is dry and my roots are dry so all i'm going to do now guys i'm going to pull my hair apart and as i said to you guys because it's got hair grease in it and the oils from the hair grease because remember the green dax has bergamot castor oil and olive oil anywho let's just get down to the takedown right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to separate from the middle just because i think it, it disturbs the pattern less and it just takes less time. And if you remember guys, I plaited the roots first. So there you go, it's very uniform. So I think to be honest, rather than going back on each section and having to separate, I'm just gonna start separating now, but I'm gonna separate where the hair wants to separate. And this is the one thing, not one thing, this is one of the things I love about hair grease. There is no tangles, no fuss, because because the hair grease helps the strands to attract to where they want to go. So as I pull them apart, they will stick to, and not stick to as in greasy stick to, the hair will stick to the strands that they feel they need to be with. As you can see, this is a thicker strand than these. These ones want to separate, this wants to clump together, and I'm not gonna disturb that. I'm just gonna leave it as that. So this is what I've got so far. And to be honest guys, I'm not even gonna stretch it. I like this length. So again, I'm just gonna pull it apart from the middle. and then pull it down so the ends are fully out. There you go, look at that, look at that shine. Look at that definition. So the best way I find to separate is to smooth my hand, is to just smooth my hand and kind of prise my thumb through, not to manipulate the curls as it were, but just to separate them, as I said, where they want to separate. And that also gives you the volume. So we love the definition and volume and we get the volume from the frizz, but we don't want to overdo it because we don't want our hair to just be a big frizzy poof. So usually the front is my struggle area because this is where my curls are looser and my hair seems to hang and not look uniform. But as I said, doing a three strand twist gives me that uniform curl all the way through. And I've got shrinkage at the front as well, which I love because now my hair looks uniform. Just going by my personal experience and opinion, I find that my hair took less time to dry uh, with hair grease and water than it would with either a gel, doing a twist out or a cream. And again, guys, as I said, the reason if you weren't aware why I done a plait to start off with at my roots, as you can see now, this is the effect. My roots stay nice and laid, they're not too springy. The amount of hair grease that I used was just enough to give me def definition, shine, moisture, moisture retention, I should say, not moisture, moisture retention. And the reason I say not moisture is because hair grease doesn't moisturize your hair, it retains the moisture. It just locks in the moisture from the hydration, i.e. water, spray, what have you. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side, and then I will take my pick and I will puff it out. So guys, remember, the more you separate, 
the bigger their hair. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to pick my hair. Let me just show you the back because it's gonna look a bit weird because of the parting. So let me just quickly show you the back. Obviously I've got this big parting down the middle of my hair. So I'm gonna flick my hair forward and from side to side and pick it. Found my pick, so what I'm gonna do first, as I've said in my previous twist out videos, I don't like to start on the ends. In fact, I don't even like to touch the ends. I just like to puff it out from the top and just slightly tease the hair downwards from the roots. So I like to do it from underneath, just in case there is any frizzing going on, it's disguised underneath the hair. So I haven't got rid of that parting yet. I will show you how to do that in a sec. But so there's no gaps here, guys. This is where I like to pull it down but I don't want to disturb the curl pattern. There you go, just to make it look a bit more thicker and fuller. So my hair will start to stretch over the next few days because I will be putting my hair up in a pineapple at night and having my bonnet on. And that's pretty much it, really. So if I was doing this with a cream, and I'm not trying to sound biased, I do love my hair grease and these are the reasons why. If I was using a cream to do a twist out, me doing this already, just touching my hair, it would start to frizz. My hair, for some reason, just doesn't take well to creams for whatever the reason. I'd need something like a hair grease, not a heavy oil, but a heavy pomade like a hair grease. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this little dangly bit here. It's a bit too free flowing for me. So this bit, I will start to comb it in just to get that frizz so it gets, there you go. How's that, guys? Is it even? I don't know. It looks even to me on camera, but then when I watch it back, it looks so uneven. <laughs> anyway, so now I've still got that parted in the back. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to flick my head forward. So as I'm teasing up, I'm also teasing to the side just to manipulate that parting. I combed up and to the side. So just to get rid of that parting, I don't mind this parting, I like that. But what I'm gonna do now, just for extra teasing at the roots, Other side, so it matches. Just tease until you get your desired effect, basically, guys. And as you can see, guys, with all this teasing I'm doing, the hair grease has allowed my curls to stay in shape and keep the definition. See, I don't like these scraggly bits down here. So this, I don't mind having a bit of frizz. But at the end of the day, I know my hair is sealed and going to be super moisturized in this style. And obviously, hence why I won't have to re-wet my hair because it's already sealed in. So I'll wear it for maybe about three to four days. Just because, <clears throat> just because I'm fully confident that my hair is fully moisturized and I don't need to go and re-moisten it during the week. Okay, I think that's enough. I think, as I said, over time, when I wear my pineapple, it will start to get bigger. But for a style like this, guys, that cannot be it. Hold on. What do you think? Had to zhuzh it up with some earrings, some eyeliner, some highlighter. <laughs> Done my edges as well, guys. It's shiny at the moment, but the shine will go, but the hair will stay in place. It won't just turn greasy and shiny on your forehead. So, yes, what do you think, guys? It's fluffy, it's soft, it's shiny, it's moisturized. I love the frizz because it gives that volume. That's what I was looking for. Let me just quickly show you the back. So the back I've checked out, it's quite fluffy. I like that. I like the, I can't be tamed look, you know? So I'm confident my hair is gonna stay moisturized as I said during those, I think I'm gonna wear it like this for about four days. I'm confident my hair's gonna be staying moisturized so I won't have to re-spritz it. I won't have to re-twist it. My hair just goes up in a pineapple, comes back down, does its bizzo, and then till next wash day, rinse and repeat. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that is how to get the perfect three strand twist out with hair grease and water. Also, guys, you've got length retention, you've got moisture retention, what more do you want? <laughs> if you do wanna see a detailed tutorial on how I do my three strand twist out, go ahead and watch the next video now. The next video is coming up, go and watch it now, see how I do that tutorial. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.